have found themselves in hot soup after angry residents traced the footprints of a stolen car to their doorsteps and allegedly found the car already slaughtered and stashed away in freezers. Karen Dehi has that report. It was the proverbial 40th day for twin brothers and of other countries in Gitero in Yeri County. The three were accused of being cattle thieves. What sold them out after their seemingly successful venture was the footprints of one lone car that had been stolen earlier in the day. Due to the rain, the footprints that remain etched on the muddy ground led residents to the suspect's three-bedroom bungalow. True to their suspicion, the residents found about 400 kilograms of meat stored in four huge refrigerators. The findings implicating the three in a possible intricate cycle of selling stolen meat to different outlets in Mary. There was a section in the compound believed to have been the hiding place for the heads of the stolen animal. <laughs> Perhaps a bid to wipe out all evidence from prying eyes. The agitated crowd, having found the proof they were looking for, went ahead to set the permanent house ablaze. Not only did they burn the house, but they also went for the car and that too went up in flames. Some residents took advantage of the rising confusion and made away with anything and everything they could lay their hands on. Doors, pipes, furniture, even the main gate. Nothing was salvaged. The suspect's German shepherd dog too found a new owner. We took the intervention of police officers to save the three suspects from possible lynching as they were whisked into a waiting police car. The residents claimed that that village alone had lost more than 40 cars. We shall take them to court. They will be charged. We will be doing the possession of cannabis sativa, six kilos, and selling or being in the possession of an inspected meat, uh, which was actually found in the in, the, in that house. Half a gun bag of marijuana was also found in the suspect's house. Karen Dorakitin is in the